it's April from April's Home and today I'm here to do another makeup declutter. Last week I decluttered all of my nail polishes and went through my collection and picked out the ones that I really loved to get my space a lot more organized. It's been so nice having my nail polish decluttered that I was really eager to start my second declutter. The second declutter that I've chosen to do is one of my favorite makeup categories and that is my lipstick. I love lipsticks, highlighters, and palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Those three categories will be the hardest for me to declutter. The thing that I've noticed about lipsticks and lip glosses is you really don't want to get too big of a collection since they do expire rather quickly um, compared to like powder products. Lip glosses can go bad in around a year or so. I've had some last a little bit longer and some last a little less. So I thought that it would be nice to get through my collection here, declutter some of the older ones and some of the ones that I'm not using. That way I can really see and use and appreciate the ones that I do have before they expire. And also just to get a better idea of the colors that I might need, the colors that I like to purchase, and talk about some of my favorite brands and things like that. So this is typically how I store my lip glosses. I have these acrylic little um, drawers for all of them. I like to keep them pretty shallow. I don't actually even like having them double stacked like this because it makes it really difficult to see the colors. I also keep some of my most used lip um, lipsticks and lip glosses out in this little container here. I'm not sure that I want to do that. Um, it kind of makes my bathroom area look a little messy to have so much out. I'd really like to um, pare that down a bit. I don't have a vanity or a beauty room or anything like that. I keep all of my beauty products in the bathroom in my bedroom. That's another reason that I would love to declutter. I just want to make it easier to see everything and store everything and all that. So I'm going to do this very similarly to how I did my nail polish declutter. I'm going to kind of get them grouped by sections and um, types. And I'm going to go ahead and get some of these organized a little bit and we'll start with our first category. Okay, so I decided I would start with my lip gloss. Lip gloss is probably one of my biggest categories. I absolutely love lip gloss. I wear it almost every day. These are mostly the Estee Lauder lip glosses that I get at Christmas time. They had a wonderful little um, multi-pack that they sold at Christmas time that I just love. Estee Lauder is my favorite formula of lip gloss. I could probably be happy with mostly just these. I have quite a few colors here. Some of them are starting to um, go off a little bit. So those I'm gonna unfortunately have to pass on. So I'm gonna have a few different categories here. I'm going to have a keep category, a maybe category, a toss category, and then a repurchase category. So if something has gone bad, but I really love it. I'm going to put it in a pile so that I can remember to repurchase it. I won't be repurchasing anything right away. I'm going to wait for all of the Christmas packages before I buy any more of these. Um, and I'm going to wait to use up a bunch of these and um, get my full use out of these before I replace any of them. I probably won't be getting rid of very many in this category because I just love my lip glosses and I love them in every color. And yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at these, each one. So this one is called Sensitive Kiss, and it is the Pure Color Envy um, Lip Gloss by Estee Lauder. And this one smells fine. I think it, it's um, doing okay, and it's also a really good color. Um, that's how I tell when a lip gloss is going bad, is they start to just smell off a little bit. Most of the time, lip glosses have a, either a pleasant smell or you know the smell of them. If they start to smell different or they separate or discolor, it's definitely time to get rid of them because you don't want to be putting old lip gloss on your lips. So I'll keep that one. These two are pretty similar. I also really mostly love shimmery gloss, so these are not very shimmery. This one is in the color Plum Impulse, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these two, and I'm just gonna pick one to keep. So there's sort of a plummy color. And this one is called Eccentric Flower. See, they're so similar, hmm. I think I'm going to go with Eccentric Flower. This one is just a little bit too plummy for me and I just don't think I'll wear that thick of a uh, gloss. I usually use gloss on top of my lipstick and so I think I'll pass on this one. This color I never thought I would use but I ended up just loving it. This one is called Berry Provocative. You can see it has just this lovely dark color. This one I do wear alone from time to time. It's a little sparkly and it's got a lot of nice pigment. 
However, this one is starting to smell a little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in a pile to replace because I really do love this color, but I think it's time for me to retire this one. This one is called Flirtatious Magenta. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Um, I think that this one is a little bit too red for me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this in the maybe pile. And this one looks like it might be a little bit too on the pinky side. Yeah, this one's perhaps a little on the pinky side, plus it's smelling a little off. Usually these last a little bit longer than a year. I got these around, oh, probably October or November, and so I'm a little um, disappointed that they're smelling a little bit off. I have some from the previous year that are in my um, purse makeup bags, and they're still doing great. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping next year that they don't uh, go off so quickly. Um, but that one I think I will toss. Here's sort of an orangey red color. I also don't wear much of the orangish color of red. Let's go ahead and see how orange that red is. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. I think I'll put this in the maybe pile. This one is called Red Extrovert. This one is called Jealous Blush, and it's a really pretty color here. Let's see. That's perhaps a little too pinky for me. I will also put this in the maybe pile. The maybe pile I will go through at the end and make my final choice. This one is called Shameless Glow. It's a really pretty peachy color here, just nice and light. It makes a really nice top coat. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. These two bigger ones came in the big Christmas set. They're really pretty. It's so nice to have a big size, but again, since they go bad in a year, I don't really use this bigger size. Um, I never can get through a whole tube, so I love the little ones. And this one is a really pretty color. I just love it. It's stunning. I wear it all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I think I'm going to take off my Fitbit there so I don't get lip gloss all over it. And here's another really pretty one. And I just noticed these are the same color. These are both Plum Jealousy. I think I'll keep both for now, but that one I'll probably put out in my travel bags. This is sort of a very orangey color, but I kind of like it. This one is called Shell Game. Let's see what this one looks like. It's very orange, but I think it could look really interesting over the top of another color. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Again, I'll be keeping a lot of these Estee Lauder ones because they really are my favorite. This one is called Reckless Bloom and is one I use all the time, so I know I'll keep that one. This one is a little bit on the pinky side. This one is called Tempting Melon. Yeah, I think that's just a little bit too bright for me, so I'll put that in the giveaway pile. This one is Fiery Almond and also one that I think I really like. I think that's one I like. Oh, it's a little on the brown side, but um, I think I'll put this in the maybe. Kind of double check that one. So I do think I use that one pretty often. Here's a very nude one. I don't use nude a ton. Let me take a look at this one. Yeah, that's pretty nude. It does make a nice gloss, just like a gloss top coat, but I think I have plenty like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the giveaway. And this is a really dark, beautiful color. This one also came in the Christmas um, gift pack. This one is also very provocative. So these two are the same color, and this is the one that I was going to replace, so maybe I don't have to if this one is fine. And this one does smell um, just fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that and put this one in the toss pile. And then now for some of my random glosses. This is a buxom color in the color April. I just love this one, so I'll definitely be keeping this one. I absolutely love all of my uh, MAC 50th anniversary lip gloss. I think that all of these are so pretty. They make nice top coats for my lip gloss. I love putting gold or silver on. It never looks gold or silver. It just gives a nice silver or gold sheen to whatever lipstick color I'm wearing. So these are definitely keepers. These are also from MAC. They are from the MAC Trolls collection, uh, the lip glasses, also kind of like a lip gloss. And these, I'm really tempted to just keep them until they are no longer good because they're just so fun. I love this blue hue um, over other lipsticks. It looks really, really pretty. And this pink one, let me see. I haven't used this very much. I'm not really big into this sort of uh, baby pink like that. It just doesn't look very good on my complexion. I might see if my daughter likes this, or um, maybe I'll put this in the maybe pile. I'm just not sure about that. I don't really love passing along any lip products. I just think that that's a little bit germy, so either I keep it or I don't. I definitely want to get better at not purchasing so many, knowing that they expire in a year. I may have to be very, very limited on any lip glosses I buy for the rest of the year and just uh, purchase a few for 2018 during the Christmas season and try to use up as many of these as possible. These are from the MAC um, Christmas collection. This is a cream sheen glass, and these are all really pretty. 
That is a very pretty color. I just love this one. I'm going to keep that one. This one is in the color Pure Delight. This other one was in the color Nutty and Naughty, like Christmas uh, Nutcracker themed colors, I think they were. Um, that one's pretty light for me. I'm going to put this one in the Maybe. This one is in the color Fashion Whim. This also looks like it's going to be too light. Yeah, I think that is too light. I'm going to put this in the Get Rid Of pile. And this one I really love. I use it all the time. It's just a very nice glittery gloss. It's got a little, um, rather than a doe foot, it's got a little brush applicator. It's very glossy, but I really like it a lot. So that one I'll keep. This is one of the Too Faced Lip Injection Glosses. I tried uh, the original one of these, and I've tried one other. I got rid of them right away. They kind of stung my lips a little bit. This one I'm still curious about. They smell really good, and if they didn't bug me, I probably would like to try that again. Mm, it goes on pretty light. I think I'll put this in the maybe pile, because I'm just not sure that I like to experiment with things like that make your lips feel so funny. These really kind of stung my lips quite a bit, and I just did not like that feeling. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the maybe. I don't know that I'll keep that, but I want to give it a little bit more thought. This is by Winky Lux. This is their Unicorn Tears color. I use this all the time. It's definitely one of my favorite. When it goes bad, I will hopefully um, be able to repurchase this. It's just such a pretty pretty color, very sort of holographic-y. You can see, just makes a nice top coat. It's a little bit purpley. Very, very pretty though. This is a keeper. And then this is from, I think, Benefit. This is Benefit's Lollipop. I haven't gotten around to trying this very much. It is really a cute little um, package here. And I like the color. I think I got this in a subscription box or something. Oh, it goes on really nicely. It's a kind of blends out to a nice, just basic pink. I might give this a try. It looks neat. This one is brand new. I just got this in my Beauty Com box. So let me go ahead and swatch this. It's a really pretty color. It's kind of super pigmented. I don't wear that much pigmented lip gloss. This is almost like a liquid lip color, but I do think that I'd like to give this a try. It looks really interesting. And then this is a really fun one here from from Lancome. I bought this last Christmas. I think it's just so pretty. It has a little pop-up here, and then the lid pops off here like that. And it's just so, so pretty. This one's definitely a favorite of mine to wear, and I will replace it um, when it goes bad, so I'll definitely keep that one. These are two little ones from e.l.f. They are good um, as far as lip glosses go. I do appreciate them. Let me go ahead and test them out. Mm, that one's actually a little bit too pinky for me, so I think I'll go ahead and pass this one along. And this one is one I do use a lot. It's a little coppery, though. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit on the coppery side. I'm going to put this in the maybe. I may end up putting this out like um, in my glove box or something like that to use on the go. And then I have two Juicy Tubes from Lancome. This is the swatch for that one here. It's actually really pretty. I just love this. Um, I'm going to keep this one for sure and try to use that up. I barely have used this. I bought way too many. I definitely need to cut back on lip gloss so that I can actually use it up. This one I think might be a little bit older. Let's see. And I think it's a little bit pigmented for me, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on this one. And then I have a few of these here. These are the um, Chapstick Duos. I do not use that much chapstick. I got these for all of us girls at Easter time. I just thought it was fun that you could kind of switch them around. They are pretty fun, though, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these and try them a couple more times before I decide. Um, Again, I just don't reach for these very much since I'm always typically wearing my actual lip glosses. So, But I think I'll keep those for now. And so it looks like I have some maybes here to decide on. And these are my tosses. And these are the ones that I'm going to keep. And I'll organize these all at the end. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep them all in here. Those are all my keep lip glosses. And now let's look at some ColourPop here. So I absolutely love ColourPop, all of their lip glosses and lip colors and all that. They're definitely one of my favorite to purchase. Since they're only $6 a piece, it's nice to experiment with these. What I think I might start doing is marking like a little color dot or writing the year number or something on them because it's so hard to know which ones I bought last year and which ones I bought just recently. And again, I really don't like my lip glosses to go old. This is a new one. I actually bought extra backups of this one. I just love it. This is an Ultra Glossy Lip 
in the color Nonsense. This is definitely one of my favorites. And I just cleaned off my swatches and I noticed this big red bumpy spot here. That is where I swatched the um, lip injection gloss and it's actually stinging a little bit. So I definitely don't want that on my lips. So I'm going to put this in the toss pile. I think I'm just done experimenting with uh, products that sting your lips. Um, Buxom does have a little bit of tingle in it. A lot of their lip glosses do, but they don't seem to bother me at all. So I'll just stick with that one for if I want any plumping action. Um, this again, let me go ahead and swatch this one. It's really pretty. I just love that. It's just this beautiful, almost holographic color. It's a lot like Winky Lux's Unicorn Tears. So just, I just love this one. So that's definitely a keeper. And I did buy two backups because it looked like they were closing out the color. I do hope that they don't close it out. I hope that they just uh, bring it back in another package or something like that. So I'm definitely keeping these. I may pass along one of my backups to my daughter or my son's fiance. I know I gave one of them um, one of these already. So I'll have to see which one I didn't give uh, one of those two and pass along one of those boxes. This is a color I just got in the Beautycom box. This is in London Fog and it's the Ultra Satin Lip. And I also have a duplicate to that one as well that I bought a little while ago. Let me go ahead and test this one. I may just swap it out for the new one, but it is so red. Hmm. I just don't know. That is awfully red for me. I don't typically wear such a dark red color. I'm going to go ahead and put both of these in the maybe pile. It's just I'm tired of a lot of the colors that I don't use kind of cluttering up um, my space and then I don't see ones that I actually would use and then they all end up going bad. So um, this is another red color but this is a little sparkly. This is the ColourPop and Hello Kitty collaboration which I just loved. I thought it was so pretty. Let's see the difference there. Definitely a much more pinky red. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I think it's really cute. This is Flitter, one of my all-time favorite colors. I think I may have a backup of, of this one as well. Kind of goes on funky just because it's got so much um, like metallic sheen in it, but I just love it so pretty. This is definitely a keeper. This one is the color Queen. It's a really dark sort of burgundy color. Hmm. That might be a little dark for me. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the maybe pile. This one is a really pretty color here, a nice coppery gold called Lights Out. And let's see, that one's really beautiful. Hmm. I might keep that just to play around with. I think it's really pretty. I don't actually wear metallic lips much, but adding just a little bit um, on top of a lip stick is really pretty. Here's one I know I'll get rid of. I um, didn't realize how gray this color was. This is the color Marshmallow. It's sort of a purpley gray color. I just um, never wear it. It's just, ugh. it's not something that I'd be able to pull off at all. Not with my complexion or with my age. I just think that, that would look kind of silly on me. So that one's gonna go. This one is called Mess Around. This one's pretty dark. Uh, again, it's a little too brown. Some of these colors, it's just hard to tell online what they're going to look like in person. That's just too dark. I'm going to get rid of that one. Actually, I accidentally put those in my think pile, but they need to go in my get rid of pile. And it's so nice to get rid of those because here's this one that I forgot I even had. This is another color pop with Hello Kitty and it's so pretty. I know I would use this. It's just been buried under there. Yeah, that's definitely one I'll use. So that's a keeper. This one is called Tight Fit. I think this one might be getting a little old, but it still seems fine and it's gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I'm going to set it off to the side like this so I can mark it as one that's getting old and look for a replacement. This one is called Magic Wand and this is one of the satin lip colors. Um, yeah, hmm, let's see. That's, I think, going to go in the maybe pile. It's a little, leaning a little towards the brown side. You can really see this red puffy spot here where I swatched the lip injection. So I would definitely say if you're going to try this and you have sensitive skin like I do, swatch it first because that would not be something I'd want on my lips. This one is Frickin' Frack. I've had this for a while and I don't think I use it that much. I think it might be a little on the dark side for me. Yeah, I think that's a little bit dark. Um, I think I'll pass that one along. This one is called Echo Park and it is also a satin lip. Ooh, that one's pretty. I think this one's getting a little on the old side. I'm going to go ahead and put this up with this one and potentially replace it or look for, see if I have another color similar to it and if I need to keep it or not. This one is a pretty metallic in the color My Jam. Again, I don't use these metallics too much, but they are so pretty. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one. This is the Ultra Matte Lip in the color Donut. 
This was one of the first matte colors that I tried. I don't wear matte colors very often. And this pink, hmm, it's, I think it's just too pinky for me. A little too um, matte and too, like, vibrant. Yeah, I don't think that would look right with my complexion. I'm going to pass that one along. This one is J.I.C. and is a metallic lip, one of their pretty metallic lips. I really did enjoy all their metallic colors. That one's especially pretty. Ooh, I really like that one. Okay, that's one I'll keep. And then this is another um, metallic lip in the color Maneater. This is a little on the dark side. Let's see how this swatches. Um, yeah, that's a little bit too dark. I probably won't wear that one. I'm going to put that one in the maybe, though, just to be on the sure side. And this is a really pretty ultra satin lip that I just recently got. I don't even think I've tried it. It's called Bijou. See how this swatches. Oh, whoa. Okay. That's a little bit too purple. I didn't realize it would be that purple. That's one of those um, times when you look at the color of the tube, you look at the swatch, and it just doesn't look that purple. I may see if one of the girls would like to play with this one. It is brand new. So yeah, I'll put that one over there and see if they want that. This is an ultra glossy lip and you can see it is starting to separate. There's a little discoloration there. I think I will definitely pass that one along. I think it's going off a bit. This is an ultra glossy lip in Fairy Floss. It's a really pretty color. But again, I think that this one's also a little bit on the old side. So I think I'll pass that one along. And then this is my backup for Flitter, which I should probably um, open up pretty soon and swap out. But for now, I'll go ahead and just keep it with my other ones. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. I've definitely narrowed down my color pops quite a bit. Okay, so the next category are these um, Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Oils. I am really impressed by these. I just love them. They smell so good, and they are so pretty. Even the colors that are a little bit out there, like this peachy color. Actually, let me go ahead and clean these swatches off. So even these colors that are a little bit um, more vibrant looking go on really um kind of smoothly. You can see how you could kind of blend that out to work. However, I am going to check on some of these that I know I probably won't use and see if my daughter or son's fiance want to try them out. They both have different complexions from me and each other. So all three of us have slightly different complexions and sometimes things work better with them than me. That's probably not something I'll realistically use. And I really don't want this really fun um, product here to go to waste. So I'm going to check with them on that one. This is one I think I really love. Yeah, that one's just nice. I'm going to keep that one. This one, by the way, is in Peach Sickle, and this orange one is in the color Poppin' Peach. And this one is in the color Pure Peach. And it looks really similar, but I know I'll probably get some use out of that. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And let's see, this one here is called Peach Fuzz. It's a very light shade. That's pretty. See, but these all look so similar. I may see if I um, can share some of these more with my um, daughter and son's fiance. I haven't used them much, so they're still fine, I think, to share. This one looks like it's going to be too vibrant. Yeah, I, I just don't think I'll wear that. So I'm going to pass that one along. This is in the color Tickle Me Peach. This one is in the color Papa Don't Peach, just like the name of the blush. And I just love that one. It's almost like a, a rosy, peachy color there. I just like that one. I think it's pretty. And this one is in Peach Please. It's a little on the pink side. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Mm, it is really pretty, though. I may have to put this in the maybe. Kind of test that one out. And then the last of the peach oils are Peach Teas here. Let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. Um, I do think that's a pretty color. I am going to keep that one as well. So I have narrowed it down to five. I may still pass along one of these that's similar though. And moving along to some of my liquid lip colors. I don't use liquid lip colors too often, but I do like some of them. This one's in the color Rosé by Tarte. It's one of their Tartus lip paints. I just love the Tartus lip paints. They're really pretty. That one's a nice one. I think I'll get use out of that. This one I just got, it is, uh, it was in one of the samples of Perfume from Sephora. This is by Ciate. It's their Liquid Velvet in the color Bittersweet. This is a new one, so I think I'd like to still try that. Although, hmm, that is pretty dark. I may try this a couple of times anyway before I pass it along. It is pretty nice, and I do love Ciate products. This is from Buxom in the color Cure Royale. 
see this might be too dark for me. Oh, it's actually a little bit more purpley than dark. Oh, I think I like that. That's really pretty. This almost looks like it should belong in with my lip glosses rather than lip paint. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up with my lip glosses. And then this is the Graveyard Girl um, Swamp Family Red color. I bought this just because I really do enjoy Graveyard Girl and I thought that her collab was pretty fun. This is getting on in age a little bit just because it's been probably close to a year. I'm not 100% sure. That is a little bit red for me. I think I will probably pass this along to my sister. She's also a fan of Graveyard Girl. But this one is also from Bunny. This is, I think, the Texas Toast and it is so pretty. It's a little bit matte for me and a little dark as well, but I think if I mix it with some gloss that I like, I do still like that color. So I think I'll keep that for now. This is one from The Balm called Read My Lips and is in the color Grr. I think I like this one. Yeah, that's a really pretty one. I do like that one. This one is from Ofra in the color Mocha. I have a lot of similar colors. Yeah, that one's pretty. I think I'll give this one another chance. This is from Kat Von D in the color, I think it says Vampira. Let's see. Whoa, that looks kind of purpley. Whoa. Yeah, um, that's going to be too red for me. I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. And this one is by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Fudge. And it is a lip gloss, it says. So this may have to go up with my glosses if I like it. Hmm. That one I think is just too dark for me, sadly. I just, I wish it was a little bit um, more of a nude color. It sure is pretty, but I think I'm going to have to pass that along. And this one is Patina by Stila. And this is a Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, so let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. This one might be okay, but I think I'm going to put it in the maybe and think about that color. It's a little dark for me. So I've narrowed that category down to just these five here. So I'm just, I'm not a super huge uh, liquid lip color, except for some of the ColourPop ones I really do love. I tend towards uh, lipsticks a little bit more. And then next we'll take a look at some of my lip crayons. And I only have a few lip liners, but we'll go ahead and take a look at those too. This is a color by Tarte called, let's see, it's a Wonder Cream in, let's see, it's a Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in the color Wonder. It is really pretty. It's a little bit berry colored. Um, I'm going to put this in the maybe. This is a old um, e.l.f. Uh, lip stain pen, but I don't really like that brown color, so I'm going to pass that along. These are the NARS uh, lip crayons from the birthday uh, stuff years ago, plus I got another one in a in a subscription box. I do like these. I don't like that you have to sharpen them, and I don't sharpen things. I don't ever have good luck with that. I really do love this color a lot. I think I'm going to keep this until I use it up, and I may or may not replace that. I do like the color. These are a little bit on the dark side. This is the color Cruella. Yeah, that's a little too red for me. I think I'm going to pass these both along. And I have some of the e.l.f. lip crayons. I love these. I think they're really nice. I used to use them a lot more. This is in the color Cranberry. It's actually a really, um, it's, it's a little on the dark side, but I actually do like it. It's also got a little bit of purpley in there to kind of temper the red, so it's not too bad. This one is the color Tea Rose. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I like that one. That's pretty. And these are both in the color natural. Now let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, I do like that one too. I'll probably pass one of these along though. I'm going to put one in the maybe and pass it along, I think. Then I have three of the ombre um, lips from NYX. Even though this color is not really my color, I do like the others, and I love playing with all three of these. They have a darker liner color and then a lighter inner color, and they make a nice ombre lip. So I'm going to keep all three of those. I do have fun playing around with those. And these are the only lip liners I have. I don't use lip liners, like I said, very much. Let's see if there's one I want to keep. This is a London Fog by um, ColourPop. It's a very red. I think I'm going to pass this along with my other, um, with the London Fog color. This is frickin' frack. And I think I might, well, hmm. No, I think that might be too dark. 
but I might keep it for now just because I don't have any other uh, darker lip liner. Actually, I'm going to put this in the maybe and think about that a little bit more. I don't want to keep anything that I'm not going to use. This is in the color Marshmallow and goes along with the um, ColourPop Marshmallow that I decluttered. It's just too purpley, so I'll put that with the matching ColourPop. And then this is a little one from uh, Tarte called Mood Ring. It's a little teeny one. It's very berry colored though, and I just don't think I'll use that. So I'm going to pass that along. So I got that drawer down quite a bit as well. And these are my lip stains. I don't have very many lip stains. I also don't really um, use lip stains much. This is Posy Tint. Uh, it's pretty light. I just don't think I'll use it. This is Staniac. It actually is pretty neat. I think this is from The Balm. And I do like this, but it's getting really old. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that. And then this one is a Lolly Tint in, let's see, this is also from Benefit. It's a little too purple. I don't think I'll use that. And then I have three here from e.l.f. I think I decluttered some of these already. Let's see, this is a red-orange wash. Hmm. It's a pretty light stain. That's actually kind of nice. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to compare it to the others. This one is Rouge Radiance. These are also kind of getting a little old. I did. I do think I ordered these last year. Yeah, that one's really way too orange. I'm going to pass that one along. I would have thought that um, this one, since it's called Red Orange wa Wash, would have been more uh, orange, but it's definitely not. This uh, Rouge Radiance is pretty orangey. And then this last one is Dewy Berry. And I think it's a little too fuchsia. I don't think I'd want to um, use that as a stain. So I'm going to pass those two along, and I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. It is pretty. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this one up here for now and use this to kind of corral some of my um, toss ones. And then we'll try this little random drawer here before we move on to the last two big categories. These are three of the melted colors from Too Faced. I actually really liked um, one of these. I think it was Chihuahua here. I did like this other one one here too, but it started smelling a bit off rather quickly. Which is probably okay though because it's kind of a little bit too of, much of a bubblegum pink for me. This is in the color um, Melted Frosting. So I'm going to toss Melted Frosting. And this is the Melted Metallic Peony color. Let's see how this one's doing. That one is a pretty color there. I do like that. Hmm. I'm going to put this in the Maybe. I'm not sure it's aging very well. It isn't even a year old, but it just doesn't seem quite right. So I'm going to put that over there for now. And this is in Chihuahua, the classic melted Chihuahua color, which I do like. So it is a little bit on the dark side. I kind of like that one better. I'm going to put both of these in the maybe. And at the end, I will go through all the maybes that I did keep and the ones I tossed. This is the um, Estee Edit Flash Photo Gloss. I've got a little sample here that I haven't opened, and this one here. I am going to keep both of these. I do like this product. This has a slightly blue tint to it that the camera's not picking up. It says the cool blue tint helps your teeth um, flash selfie white. So I'm going to go ahead and put these up in my lip glosses. And then let's see. This is one of the Smashbox Instant Matte. I still want to try this out, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This this is um, some e.l.f. lip uh, color remover, which I'll definitely need um, to put on my hand at the end of this day and test it out. This does work well, though. It does help remove uh, lip color, so I'll be keeping that. And the second to last category here, this uh, video will be pretty long, by the way, just because it takes such a long time going through all these different colors. This is um, all of my NYX products. Two of these are the NYX Whipped that I know I'll keep, and all the rest of these came in that big set that came out at Christmas time, which I did uh, do a swatch video for. I have found, though, that most of these colors do not work for me, and I really want to pair out all the colors that don't work for me so that I can use the colors um, and actually get to the colors that actually do work. These first two here are ones I really love. These are the NYX Whipped formula, and I just really enjoy both of these. This one I just got in, um, I think, the Ipsy bag just this month. I really love that, and this is my older one here. I like both of those. I'll be keeping those. I do like the formula of these. I do think that they're nice. I just, uh, most of these colors are just a little out there for me or just not quite right for me. So this one is like a really just like nude color, which I do not wear. So I'm going to pass that one along. That is in the color Cairo. 
This is in the color Milan. See, from the bottle, it looks like it would be a color that I would wear, but then it is just like this bright fuchsia pink, and I don't wear that color, so I'm going to pass that one along. Because the ones in here that I uh, don't like, I haven't really used them at all, so I'm going to let my friends and family look through these, see if there's any colors they like. This is in the color Buenos Aires, and this is just two orange, sort of a very peachy orange. This one is in the color Amsterdam. And that one is just too dark. This one is in the color Athens. This one I think I'll keep in the maybe. This one is in the color Soul. And is just too purple. I think my niece might have fun with some of these colors just to play with. This is, let's see, Vancouver. That's just too dark of a purple. This is Adi Ababa. And that's just two fuchsia. This is in the color San Paolo. And let's see, that one's kind of nice. I might keep that one. This one is in Ibiza. Uh, I think that one's a little too pinky bright for me. This one is in the color Istanbul. This one I think I might put in the maybes. This one's really dark. This is in the color Transylvania. It's a really pretty color. I just don't wear these really dark colors. It's sort of like a dark wine color. This is in the color Madrid. And it's just way too fuchsia for me. This is the color Zurich, and I do like this one. That one I'll keep. This one is the color Stockholm, and I think that's an interesting one I'll try. These are Havana and Bangkok, and they're just too purple. This is Dubai and Berlin, and they are just too brown. Yeah, so the, this set ended up not being too great for me, just with a lot of the colors were just not really usable for me. This one is Los Angeles. It was fun looking through all these colors, though, I will say that. This one's also a little bit too brown. These uh, colors here, San Juan and Morocco, are too orange. This is Paris and Prague, and they are too fuchsia. This one here is Budapest, and I think I'll keep that one. It's dark, but it's it's a really pleasant color. And this top one here is a little bit too um, dark for me in Copenhagen. This blue Moscow color is really pretty. I'm going to put this in the maybe just because I think I might want to keep that for like Halloween. I think that's such a fun blue color. But I do have another um, lipstick that's kind of a blue that I also would use for, you know, dressing up and stuff if I needed a blue lip color. Um, this one is in the color Cans, and that's actually a really pretty color as well, so I'll keep that one. It's going to be so nice now being able to find the colors that I can actually use. Before, it was too difficult to go through all of these to find the ones I actually liked. Um, this one is in the color Tokyo, and it's a little too bubblegum pink. These last two are Antwerp and Manila. They're just a little too um, bright for me. I have four left. This one up here is Rome, and I do like that one. They all definitely look similar, though. All the ones that I'm keeping look pretty similar. Abu Dhabi is right here. It's a little bit too brownish. Sydney here and London here. And I do not like either of those colors either. So I definitely cleared out a bunch of those. That is what I'm left with there. In the future, I will probably not buy a big set like this unless I can really watch a swatch video in advance. Um, this is just too wasteful to me. I, I know that some of my friends and family might pick through some of these, but a lot of these colors are just too strange for, uh, they're just not very wearable. So it was fun to look through, but not something I'll purchase again. I'd rather just stick with trying out individual colors. And then on to my last category here. These are all of my lipsticks. So I've organized some of my lipsticks by brand so I can go through them a little bit quicker. These are the two newer uh, They're Real by Benefit. These are the lip glosses that have sort of a built-in lip liner here. Seems like a fun idea. I got these in a little Christmas set. Let's see, and here's this color here. This one you can't see as much. Uh, the difference between the lip liner and the color. These are in the color Revved Up and Pink Thrills, and I just think they're too bright for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pass these both along. These are some of my favorites from Clinique. I have a bunch from Clinique here. These three are all um, special edition Black Honey uh, colors. They were based on the classic Black Honey, but a slightly different version. And I love them all, but
but they are very, very old. I'm sure they are uh, more than a few years old. So I'm going to just unfortunately have to pass these along. They were really beautiful colors and I did love them. And I have three tubes of black honey. Black honey is one of my go-to colors. Um, I've picked out the one that I thought was the oldest to pass along. And this one here is brand new. So I'm gonna keep this as my backup and then try to use this one up a little bit more. So this is the color, by the way. It's just really pretty. It does not go on this dark. It just is like a nice sheer touch of color. I just love it. It's one of my, uh, again, one of my favorites from Clinique. A really classic, nice color there. Here's another one from Clinique. This came in like a little kit, I believe, or a little, um, you know, bonus bag. This is in the color Creamy Nude. And I do like it, but I just don't use it, and it is also going old a little bit. So I'm going to pass that one on. Here are the rest of my um, colors. I do have some in my purse, but I do use those really frequently. This one is Twilight Nude, is one of my favorite colors. That's definitely a keep. This is the Bamboo Pink I just got. I absolutely love it. I'm glad I repurchased that. Had more than a few uh, tubes of both of those colors. This is also another Twilight Nude, a backup. Again, these are my favorite colors right here. Just I've used them for years. And this one is Golden Brandy. This was a newer color that I thought I would try out. And it's a little bright for me and a little orange, but since I just bought it, I do think I'm gonna give this a little bit of a try since it is in my favorite formula. So I'll be keeping all of these. And this is another Black Honey, a little travel size one, so I'll keep that one as well. Let's move on to Too Faced. This one is a Unicorn Tears. I use this a lot. It's a topper. It's sort of this pretty blue holographic. I'm hoping to try out the new Unicorn Tears liquid latex color coming out here anytime now. I also have a backup of Unicorn Tears. It is one of those just favorite products that I would never want to be without, so I um, have a backup of that. And then I have a few other colors here. These are in the colors um, Sugar Daddy and Pink Chocolate, and I really love both of those also. And then I do have this one. It's really, really red here. It's a Christmas uh, color that I got in the Christmas pack last year called Rebel Heart. I don't use this much, but I don't have very many bold colors, so I am going to go ahead and keep this. I love the formula. I especially love this formula here. These are the La Creme um, formula from Too Faced. I just love them. I'd love to experiment more with those colors. These are my Winky Lux uh, lip glosses. I will probably be keeping all of these. This is their white color in the color White Rabbit. This is a nice top one, very similar effect to the um, Unicorn Tears, but a little more white and pearly, so I'll be keeping that. And then this one in Lip Velour. This is one of their classic colors. I also really love that one. And this one is just one of those fun, funky ones. I just think is so neat. It's one with the flower inside, and it kind of changes colors uh, based on your skin chemistry, I believe. So I'll be keeping that one. Again, lipsticks are my favorite, so I probably won't declutter too many. This is a Clinique um, Pop, though. This, I believe, has um, ingredients in it that I'm sensitive to, so I am going to pass that one on. It's brand new, and I'll um, give this away to one of my friends or family. This also, I just don't think I'll need this. It's kind of a strange little glossy, lipsticky formula from Tarte. I'm going to pass that along. This one was a little sample from Tarte in the color, I think, um, Beach Bum. It is really pretty. You can see it's tipping off to the side there. It kind of uh, just popped right out of the case. I do like it, and I am going to try to use that up. Here's two more little La Creme samples. I think they're both in the same color. Uh, Naked Dolly. It's a very light, pretty color here. I really like it. Uh, one is brand new and one slightly used, but I'm going to go ahead and keep them both. And then some of my Lancome colors. This is my favorite Lancome color. I use it all the time. This is called Designer Bloom. And it's definitely one of my favorites. This is in the color Trendy Mauve. And I'll also be keeping that one. This is also a uh, Lancome. This one here is in the color Wine Party. I think I'll put this in the Maybe It's In, one of my favorite formulas, but it's awfully dark. This is in the color Seal the Deal. It is pretty, but hmm, I'm not sure. That one's also going to go in the Maybe. And that one I do like. That is in the color Love It, and I'll also keep that one. I have two Kat Von D lip colors, a tiny little sample one, and then a full size. The full size is in Lolita. This is a classic color. I do use this quite often. It's very pretty. I just love it. 
So that one is definitely a keeper. This would be one I'd repurchase as well. This is another formula that I would definitely love to try more of this next year. After, of course, I use up some of these that I already have. And this one here is in the color Cathedral, another color I really love. It's a little on the dark side, but I do love it um, for evenings. And I can also lighten this up with different glosses and stuff. I just love it. So both of those are great, Cathedral and Lolita. This is a lipstick that I got in a subscription bag called Mellow. Let's see what this one looks like. Hmm, that's, it's pretty. I'm going to have to think about this one. I'm not 100% sure on the color, and I also don't wear too many super matte colors. That's pretty matte. And then lastly, here I have all of my little NYX colors. This one is in the color Ripe Berry, and I did just recently get this one. I do like it. I think I got that also in a subscription bag. And these are the NYX colors um, Thalia and Power. These are the extra creamy lipsticks, which I really do like. The purple color there is definitely funky. I'm not sure that I would use it again, except for something like, you know, Halloween if I'm dressing up. So I may put that in like my Halloween makeup box, um, but I don't think I'll get rid of it because I do love the formula. And this one I really love though. That is Thalia. So I definitely keep Thalia and I'll put this one out with my um, Halloween makeup. And this one is just one of those fun colors that I don't know why I bought because it, you know, it's not like I'm going to wear turquoise like this, but it is so fun. I just couldn't resist. It's one of my favorite colors. I thought that I actually would use this for dressing up as well. This is what that was purchased for. Um, so I'm going to put this in a separate section, though, so it won't be in with my everyday makeup. I do love it, though. That's in the color Will. Again, it's just so pretty, definitely fun for costumes. And here's another purple one. I did buy a few fun colors. I think it was leading up to last um, Halloween. I ended up not using it, but I do think it was so fun. And I also think that the um, girls might want to grab this for costumes as well. So I'll put these um, funky colors in with my um, dress up makeup. And then this one here is a silver color called Stone Cold. Actually, that blue isn't called Will. It's called Scandalous. And the purple is called Zen Orchid. And here is Stone Cold. It's just a nice silver. I do find funky colors like this fun to wear. Sometimes you can do a little accent with a silver that's really interesting. So I'm going to keep this in with my regular um, lipstick and use that as just a topper. Um, just sometimes to highlight the center of your lips or something like that. I think that that's fun. So those are all of my lipsticks. I am keeping most of my lipsticks, but I did get rid of some of them. And some are going to be um, put over into the costume box. I'm going to go ahead now and go through all of my maybes over here. I've got a little pile there to still decide between. And these were all of my maybes, and I've decided to get rid of all of these. I'm going to add these to the get rid of pile. Most of them I decided to just go ahead and get rid of. I actually tried these all on personally to see if they would work, and they just none of them that are over here worked really well. I did keep a few. I did decide to get rid of the London Fog. It's just too red for me, but I'm pretty sure since this is brand new, I'll be able to pass that along to one of my family or friends. And these are the ones from the maybe pile that I kept. I decided to keep this, um, I think it's frickin' frack. Yeah. This is the Frickin' Frack ColourPop Liner, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And I did really like this uh, Estee Lauder lip gloss, so I'll keep that. And this Stila lip color, I'm going to keep that, as well as one other um, Estee Lauder lip gloss, a MAC lip gloss, this peach oil, and um, the NYX here. And this blue um, NYX color is going up with my others in my costume box. It's just such a pretty blue. It would be fun for a costume, I think. And then I did decide to keep this um, color pop. Uh, this is one of the ultra metallic lips in the color Queen. It is just so pretty. It's getting a little old, um, and I will probably try to replace that when it goes away. It's just actually really pretty. So these are the only ones that I'm keeping from the maybe pile. I'm also going to go ahead now and get a Sharpie. I'm going to mark the date on all of my lip glosses so that I know when I decluttered these because, like I said, this one's probably ready to expire any time now. I need to use it as much as I'm going to over the next three months and then either decide to replace it or toss it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to organize my case here and give you a final tally of all of these that I got rid of and all of them that I kept. So I have all of my lip products all reorganized and all of the ones that I'm going to declutter over here. 
This is the makeup that I'm going to put in my costume box. These are all of my lipsticks. These are the two little lip glosses. These are my ColourPop products. These are some of my liquid lip colors. These are some of my Too Faced lipsticks and a Tarte one. These are the Too Faced lip oils. This one I had accidentally put in the declutter. This is the Chihuahua color that I do like. Um, I can't remember if I had decided to get rid of that or not, but when I looked at it again, I, I do want to try that. So those are my Too Faced products. These are some of my um, lip crayons and my one lip liner I decided to keep and some of my NYX lipsticks. This is my Estee Lauder lip gloss, my one Lancome one back there. And this is all of my um, other random lip glosses. And this is just my miscellaneous drawer with some of the lip stains that I decided to keep. The Estee Edit, the Instant Matte, the lip color remover, and this little flower Winky Luxe lip gloss. So those are all the ones that I've decided to keep, and they're nicely organized. I've added the um, date to all of the ones that are like a liquid product. You can see that I've marked in Sharpie the year that I purchased them. So it's nice to have those all organized. I kept 101 lip products in here. So there are 101 lip products between um, these four here and all the ones in my case. And then these are all of the ones that I'm decluttering today. Again, any of these that are new, I will definitely let my friends and family look through. There are a few that are still in packages or have not been used, and the rest I will have to declutter. So all of the lip products that I'm decluttering total 87. I ended up getting rid of a lot more than I thought I would. That was um, a little easier than I thought. I didn't realize I had so many colors that I just don't use, so I definitely have to be more careful picking out those colors in the future. I do a lot of online shopping and it's really hard to sometimes judge the colors, but in the future I'll definitely have to be a little bit more careful with my color selection so I don't get quite so many colors that I won't use. So. I have kept slightly over half of my collection here and decluttered a little more than 40%, which I think is really wonderful. My lip products drawer looks so nice. There's a little bit of room to grow here for some of the new products that I'd like to try out, and um, it'll be a lot easier to look through this and use up the products that I have. The next declutter that I would like to do would be to go through my um, eyeshadow palettes. I have a lot of those. Most of them I think I want to keep, but I would like to go through the process and see which ones I have and which ones I can declutter. It's definitely nice clearing out all of this clutter so that I can really appreciate the ones that I have. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this lip product declutter. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more videos from April's Home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye!